coming down all the way into this creek. It's amazing. We have arrived to the parking lot. You do need your adventure pass and you could purchase one up in the front at the entrance I just drove through right now. And this is the parking lot that also will take you to the San Gregonio Summit through Vivian Creek. The trail starts right up here. So this is the Valley of the Falls we're at. So right there is Mill Creek. And here's the sign. So we are right here. This is the start of the trail. So it has flash flood hazard signs right here next to the trail. So they say that they could occur. So you gotta be cautious of that, especially during times of high rain and high snow impact in the area. So the trail is actually pretty rocky, but they are kind of carved up into a path So the path will lead you to the falls and it's only 0.7 miles round trip. So that means it's about 0.3 miles to the waterfall. So there are trail markers right here. This lets you know you're in the right direction right here. So I could hear the water. I don't know if that's the falls just yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and look over this thing. So there's a lot of cabins right here. I think a lot of people come out here and they rent one and they do day hikes here. And you could just see all these nice mountains up around you. So this is Mill Creek. And if you stay on this creek right here, up there, it'll take you up to where I hiked yesterday, which was the San Gorgonio Summit. But today I'm taking it easy and I'm doing this little hike. And I decided to do it today because I didn't want to drive three hours just for a hike that's 0.7 miles round trip. It has to challenge me a little bit, but I thought I'd stay close by and do this little hike before I headed home. So there are a few creek crossings, but they're not very deep, so you don't have to worry about getting soaked. And every time I see these types of areas where they have a creek and like this dry rock bed, it makes me think that maybe at some point in time, there was a big river that came down running through this rock bed. But here's the trail sign. So we're almost to the falls. And it is summertime, so just be very wary of rattlesnakes. So I can see the falls from here, and there's a trail on the side right here. So I'll go up through here to see what it shows me. Alright, so this little guy, he didn't look like he made it. He looks like he's dead, so I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he was attacked by a snake or a bear or a deer. I don't know. 
So this looks to be a lower falls right here. But there's a trail and it continues up. So I think it leads to a bigger waterfall. So this is actually pretty cool because you could go down here and there's a trail and it looks like it takes you to like a pool. So it looks like somebody left some trash behind. So try to pick up after yourself when you do these hikes. So now I'm back on the path and I'm gonna see what else is up here. So that is the big falls right there. It's coming down all the way into this creek. It's amazing. So I just came down through there because it was a little bit more dangerous to climb through that side. So I'm gonna climb down through here to get closer to the big falls. So now I'm gonna fly my DJI Mini 3 up so you could see all the tiers of waterfalls coming down the mountain. And after I get this footage, I'm going to head back down to the lower falls to check it out. And then I'm just going to end the hike after that with some aerial footage. So if it gets quiet, don't mind that. But now I'm going to head back down after flying my drone up. So that was all several tiers of the waterfall coming down the mountain and it does give you a different perspective it would have been hard to get up there and risky so i brought my drone instead so now that i got to the big falls i'm gonna check out the lower falls and then i'm gonna head back to my car <laughs> 